I'm sitting center court with John Justice. John Justice and I are the statisticians for Coach Smith. It's the last home basketball game of that season, 1974. We're playing Duke. And with 17 seconds left, we're down eight points. Today, March 2nd, is the anniversary of being down to Duke. Eight points with 17 seconds, and we tied it in regulation and won it 96 to 92 in overtime. One of, if not, the greatest comebacks in college basketball history. During that game, you would think there was absolute pandemonium. And the number of people who have said they were there is probably six times the number who were actually there because Carmichael was emptying. There's a lot of people who were headed to their cars when they heard the volcanic eruption of Carolina beginning that comeback. But the bench of our bench, absolutely calm. It was as if Coach Smith may have said, we've got them exactly where we want them. I do remember that Bobby Jones hit two free throws, and Bobby was not necessarily the best free throw shooter. That brought the margin to six. John Kuster made a steal and a layup, timeout. There was another um, steal and shot and a put back by Bobby Jones to bring the the score within two, and then we fouled a Duke player who was one of the leading ACC free throw shooters of the season who missed the front end of a one and one and Ed Stahl, who Sports Illustrated recorded back at the early part of the season, is 6'11", is a tall center but rebounds like a guard, got the ball, we called our last timeout. The inbounds play was Mitch Kupchak, who threw a baseball pass uh, to Walter Davis, who was a freshman, Walter caught the ball, and I'll never forget when Walter caught and turned to shoot that final shot, the inbounds play being initiated with only three seconds left in the game, and Carolina's got 90 feet of court to cover. Everybody in the arena, everybody standing, you could have heard a pin drop. And Walter turned, and the ball rolled awkwardly off his hands. If you look at the pictures, there's no follow-through whatsoever. Walter turned and threw it. It went off the top right portion of the glass, and his follow-through made the ball spin down to the left and went straight through the net at the buzzer. The place went nuts. And you know who was standing in the lane? Mitch Kupchak. He had made the inbounds pass, sprinted, and was in the lane, prepared for an offensive rebound, all in less than three seconds. We go to overtime. And I always remember this, too. We're going nuts. We have lost all decorum of professionalism. John Justice and I are pounding one another and screaming at the top of our lungs before we catch ourselves. We turn to the right, and there was Coach Smith calling everyone back to the bench just as if we were beginning to play the second half. Absolute calm. We go down four or six points in the overtime, but then once again battled back to win 96 to 92. That was unbelievable. And if you ask Mitch Kupchak even today, who was the general manager of the Los Angeles Lakers, what's your greatest moment? One of your greatest moments, if not the, of your entire playing career. He points back to March 2nd, 1974.